Hey, what is up guys? Tosi Bros here and today... Hi. <laughs> we are going to be doing a $650 Best Buy gaming PC setup, but first we gotta go to Best Buy and also first a word from today's sponsor. Nah. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Pulseway. Whether you're an IT professional or just somebody who has a lot of systems that they need to monitor, Pulseway is an awesome way to monitor system specs, temperatures, readouts, and everything that you may need to know about a system, and it's accessible via a mobile app and even from a web browser. We actually set it up on all of our systems at the office so that we can monitor on the go to make sure that none of our systems are blowing up. So if you're interested in checking out Pulseway, please use the link in the description down below. There's a free version you can try out and use the link down below because it helps us out. So. We'll Let's get right into this video, shall we? So what Matt and I are going to be doing is we're going to be running up to Best Buy and we're going to be showing you that you guys can take this Lenovo gaming, not gaming, sorry, this Lenovo desktop computer and turn it into a gaming computer with just a few simple upgrades and we're also going to buy a monitor with it so that we have a total of $650 invested and we've gotten everything that we need locally and we're going to make a gaming computer out of it. Now, this isn't going to be one of our cheapest setups we've ever done. As Jackson mentioned, it's going to be over $600. But for something that you can go to Best Buy and get without having to buy one of those crappy CyberPower PCs and having to spend all that money on, you know, weird pre-built systems, you can go ahead and get an even weirder pre-built system and upgrade it. Now, all jokes aside, this is kind of a concept that you just want to see if it actually is viable for somebody who only has a Best Buy near them and, well, is wanting to get a system maybe in one day, you know? Yeah. A lucky person. 369, i380-100, 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte. It's coming home with us. The computer has been acquired, and so has the monitor. And we are back. So we took a quick trip to Best Buy and got the computer right here, which is a Lenovo tower with an i3 8100, eight gigs of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, your basic pre-built system that you can get. We paid $369 for this system. Uh, and it actually is relatively upgradable, which we're gonna be upgrading it with a 1650. So this is actually an EVGA GTX 1650 and it's a really good card. The only downside is this requires external power. Now almost any other 1650 that we've ever seen does not require external power. We can however adapt it in this build. It uses about the same wattage so don't think that just because it has this external power that it's going to consume a bunch more wattage because this is a really low wattage build. It has 180 watt power supply in it so that is really pushing it but because there's an i3 which has a 65 watt TDP and this has a 75 watt TDP we should be pretty close as long as the power supply is 80 plus gold like they usually are so we think it'll work but we recommend using the one that we have in the description down below that will not have the required six pin and you can just basically plop it in there and it only uses the PCI lane power. And we'll definitely show you, as long as this works, the exact wattage is being pulled from the system while gaming, so you can know, well, how close it is from reaching that top threshold, and we can know if it's gonna blow up or not, but. So this computer actually comes with a keyboard and mouse. It's just a very standard membrane keyboard and mouse, which we'll show you in just a minute when we unbox all this stuff and put together this setup. Uh, but that is basically why this is gonna be a full setup. We have a keyboard and mouse, and then Jackson will talk about this right here, which is a monitor we got at a pretty decent price. This is the S27 1HL from Acer. It's a 27 inch IPS display, it's 1080p, and it's actually a pretty sleek looking monitor. It's supposed to have like the zero bezel design and everything, and it's supposed to have a really wide viewing angle. So for 129 bucks, you really can't beat that nowadays. So this monitor will work really good for this being kind of more of a budget build since it's not like terribly expensive. The computer is obviously kind of lower end even with the 1650 we're gonna upgrade it with. And then the computer itself though, it has eight gigs of RAM and everything. We really don't recommend upgrading much more aside from that just because you're kind of gonna get into like an unnecessary expense range. We do need to see if this monitor actually has built-in sound because otherwise we're gonna have to be recommending a mic which is over there. We have like this mic and headset combo that we'll recommend. It's like 30 bucks. We didn't end up getting anything from Best Buy because we really forgot about it and didn't know if this would have sound on it. If it does have sound though we're good so we'll figure that out and uh, if not you'll see a link in the description down below for a really good headset combo. All right, let's unbox this computer. It's so, again, as we mentioned, this thing comes with an i3-8100, which, I mean, is a decent Ooh. processor still in 2019. It's a quad core with decent clock speed and should perform pretty well. But first, we have to take a look at, obviously, the gaming keyboard and Ooh. mouse. Uh, well, nothing really special here. It's actually- It's actually what? Lenovo for once, so it's different. Yeah, a little bit different. Let's mechanical, let's get those, dude. Get those mechanical. Noises, yeah. All right, this is actually very membrane, it's quiet. 
But you know, it'll work until you get your cheap, uh, you know, razor or whatever you really want to get. You, they ha Best Buy does have all kinds of razor, Corsair, um, and a bunch of other small gaming brand as well as big ones if you want to spend a lot of extra money because you are going to be spending that premium local fee that you have to pay to get stuff quick and, you know, easy. Clicky, clicky, mechanical mouse? Dude, is, this, a, is this the ThinkPad colors? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Now, as we finish unboxing this, I do want to reiterate that this is more of a concept of what you can build at Best Buy. Could you definitely build something off like Amazon or Newegg for better and get a good monitor, a good keyboard and mouse and everything? Yes, most definitely. But the whole idea is if you have a local Best Buy and you just want to go get something or some family member wants to buy you a PC and they want to buy it locally, well, you know what? If you have that cold hard cash, you can go into Best Buy and you can uh, do something like this. Not to mention, they do offer all kinds of warranties at Best Buy. Best Buy is like really good about giving really, really good warranties and like buyer back money guarantee and stuff like that. A lot of things that online companies won't necessarily do. And thanks so to our sleep. Best Buy rep who told us the deal on the uh, warranty for the monitor, they were actually going to give a four-year warranty for $20 for the monitor. If anything happens to it, we could just bring it back in, which we don't really need, but you know, it's good to know that that exists. So this Lenovo computer here kind of competes with HP's new line, which we'll probably have some videos in the top right or at the end of this video where we show some other builds that we've done like this. So basically, we've gone to Walmart and we've gone to Best Buy before and we bought these HP pre-built systems that have a really similar feel. It's like a really kind of tallish but square tower where it's really short um, and they probably share a similar motherboard. Now key features that I noticed right off the bat that are different from like the HP ones is this does have kind of a cleaner design in my opinion especially with this kind of stripe down the middle and I mean overall it's really actually it's a pretty sleek looking tower. It's very light. I wouldn't exactly call it portable like a laptop or anything but you know if you ever needed to move it or put it in a small office space it would work really well to save space. This computer most likely also comes with wireless built in. Uh, don't quote us on that. We'll kind of clarify once we actually plug this thing up. But most uh, OEM towers are gonna come with some sort of Wi-Fi card built in because, well, a majority of people who buy pre built or anyone, anything in general are gonna hook this thing up to Wi-Fi because that's kind of the standard nowadays. And yes, it does look like there is a wireless antenna built in. So boom, there you go. So just like those HP builds, I was actually horribly wrong when I said that the hard drive cage might not be in the way. This one's actually a little bit more in the way than normal, but it's not a big deal. So typically um, they will have some type of screws or like quick releases, even which it looks like this might actually have a quick release to pull the um, cage up, which we'll figure out in a second. But this is set up like a pretty standard um, computer, really. The main difference is that this does not have standard power connectors. Yes, the four pin is standard for the CPU, but then once we open this up, you'll see that the power supply uh, 24 pin is not there. It's gonna be like this weird eight pin that all these Intel and even the new Ryzen systems have. So sadly, that does really cap what you can do because you will not be able to upgrade the power supply. All right, guys, so the first game we are going to be testing is good old uh, CSGO. Right now we are running on the high settings at 1080p. Uh, right now on the menu, you know, because we like to give you those menu FPSs, we have about 115 FPS. So let's dive in and see if I can be an op god on this setup. Okay, let's see what happens here. So right now running around, we're getting about 150 to 160 FPS, which is pretty impressive for CSGO. I mean, it is CSGO. You could run it on a potato if you really wanted to. Uh, but right now it looks like the CPU is the bottleneck. The i3 is actually holding back the 1650 a little bit, um, which is kind of to be expected. The 1650 is a uh, pretty high-end card for what it is, um, but I don't know. Let's see how many kills I can get. Oh no. All right, this is it. Let's see how many kills I can get right here. It's like three people with ops, like just sitting right here. Okay. Whoop. Hello? Anybody home? Peek. Oh, oh, okay. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not dead yet, ladies and gentlemen. Not dead yet! Hello? Oh no, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, no I didn't. Here he comes. No! That wasn't it. All right, next game. All right guys, so we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege and we are at, I think, all high settings. Yeah, ultra settings. So this is gonna be interesting because we have actually gone over the allocated four gigs of RAM and you know, it, it might work, it might not. So we'll find out. We're getting a solid 60 FPS in the menu. So that's very, very promising, right? But I feel like running is like the same speed as walking. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm scared. There's so many fat feet. <laughs> ah! Ooh. I just kill him. Wow. How do I uncrouch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off and all. Why is everybody in this freaking stairwell? All right. Well. I guess onwards and wayward's the next game. I was pretty impressed with the performance of this. Hopefully the next game's just as good. All right guys, next game is PUBG because it's uh, 2019 and every single benchmark run needs to have some sort of battle royale and we're not doing Fortnite, so yeah. But uh, right now we're running on this custom preset where we have high, on ultra anti-aliasing, ultra post-processing, high shadows and a mixture of low settings on, well, I don't know why view distance is on low. We're gonna put that on ultra, that's kind of important. Uh, but we're gonna see exactly what kind of frame rate we can get. Um, these are the auto settings um, at 1080p as mentioned before. So let's go ahead and go into a solo and see what we can do. This is the worst drop I've ever done. Are there guns on this? Please tell me there are. Weapons. Oh dear God, I'm so dead. All right. We must run and hope. Fire. Oh dear God, that was so loud. Where are they? Hey! Oh my god, you got someone. Oh god! <laughs> then somebody else killed me! Hey, I got a kill. That's all I care about. It's like knocked the camera. Wait, did he kill you through the wall? Or is he... Yeah, I think he did. Alright, so we are now testing Far Cry 5. We're just going to use the built-in benchmark. And we're at all ultra settings because we're really feeling ballsy here. And test and benchmark. We'll see how this thing does. I need to immerse myself in the, in the gameplay. All right, so we got a minimum of 45 FPS, a average of 50 FPS, and a maximum of 60. This is all ultra settings once again. This game could, of course, be turned down to medium or even high settings. You could probably get well over 60, no problem. But, you know, overall, for this computer being a pre-built and just very easily upgraded, it worked really well. All right, so you guys have just seen the benchmarks and see that the computer performs pretty well now. For like $650 at this whole setup is, it definitely doesn't perform at that type of price range. But you know what? We went and bought everything we needed in one day and we had a working system ready to go. So if you're one of those people that needs the instant gratification and want to just go to the store, buy everything you need, or if you're kind of scared of building a system from scratch and you want to go with the cheap pre-built route, the computer alone is about $500 and then the rest of the setup adds another about 150 on. So you're at around $650. And one thing we highly, highly recommend is if you can squeeze a little bit more money, get an SSD. The hard drive is really slow and we were able to uninstall some of the bloatware that was on this, like some antivirus software, but still it was notoriously slow as you can tell through this boot sequence that's going on right now. Uh, it takes a while to boot up. Sometimes it lags and gains because of the hard drive. Um, and it's just something you definitely should consider, especially with how cheap SSDs are. Uh, but again, to reiterate, a majority of the setup is 
probably not worth it. The monitor is actually not too bad for a 1080p monitor. I'm probably actually gonna be using this in my office setup over here very soon, so. Uh, but it's a pretty decent 1080p monitor, um, and it could be a good option for you if you're looking to add to another setup. But unless you're an adventurous type or plan on just upgrading the hard drive, we do highly recommend looking at some of our other systems that we can teach you how to build. If you hit the I in the top right corner, it's very simple to do. Uh, but overall, we thought this was a sort of successful experiment, and we look forward to doing more setups in the future. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and before we wrap everything up, we're gonna go ahead and mention a couple more times, we are doing a contest, or giveaway, really. Once we had 100K subs, which is like super close, like just check, you know, wherever you find the subscriber count, and you should see that we're about to hit 100K. Once we do, we will be giving this stuff away on our social medias, which means Twitter, Instagram and Facebook is pretty much it. And NVIDIA is actually gonna have a big part in this and Matt will show you what we're giving away. This is a uh, RTX 2080, which is gonna be the international item. So wherever you are within reason, we'll ship this thing to you if you win the giveaway. And Jackson has a gaming system right here, which is gonna be US only because look how big this yeah, thing it's is. Like, I can like barely hold it. <laughs> and that thing is, if you haven't seen the video of that, hit the eye in the top right corner, you can check that out. But these are giveaways to thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers, which is a very big milestone. So if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. And also if you aren't following our social medias, don't forget to do that because as we said, we're not gonna be making a video on this. So you have to be following our social media accounts so that we will make the post and we will make the post right when we hit 100K subs. So you'll just look at our social media and you'll see how to enter. It's gonna be super easy and there's no money, there's nothing required. You just can win this graphics card that Matt has caressed now. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow our social medias. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You know what, I'm not giving this away, I'm keeping it now. <laughs>